Hi everyone, welcome to episode 4. Today we're gonna talk about editing tools. And as we go along, we also pick up some tips on designing social media sets. So let's jump right in. When creating social media content, knowing your audience is key. You want content that they will connect while maintaining a consistent brand image. The secret? A combo of eye-catching visuals and punchy words. For instance, juicy news, short, clear and intriguing. But remember, we're still missing the visuals. That's where our editing tool comes in. Ready to get started? Alright, let's start with the eraser tool. It's exactly what it sounds like, a helpful tool that lets you get rid of anything you don't need in your design. Let's say I want to erase an area but have a stroke around it. Here's what we will do. Select the rectangle, we will turn the stroke on and simply click on that eraser icon or press E on your keyboard. Did you see that slider that popped up? That's your key to finding the perfect size. After choosing the right size, simply move the mouse over that area you want to remove. Here I added dashed lines as a guide. And just like that, we reveal the little surprise I placed under the rectangle. Easy peasy. As you can see, we applied stroke. It created a nice fine line around the erase area. We needed this small detail to maintain consistency in our design. There's still something we need to do here. So grab the knot tool. You can also hit A on your keyboard. You're going to find this tool to be incredibly handy for tweaking your designs. Here's what you do. Just click on the background rectangle and now you see all our nodes in their glory. Did you notice that the nodes have different colors? The green node is our starting point. The blues are our midway markers. And the red one signifies the end node. Hit the open shape button and you will see the path between the first and the last nodes part ways, giving you a clear view of them all. Now, every node comes equipped with two handles. And depending on the type of node, these handles will behave differently. There are four node types to get familiar with. You can easily identify which one you are dealing with by clicking on it, which activates a content-aware option at the top of the style tab. You will see names like single, symmetric, asymmetric, and disconnected. To see the difference between them, you can switch the node types by clicking on these node options. Here's a cool thing to try. Move one of the nodes higher so you can see the changes more clearly. First up is a single node. This one is a loner. It has no handles and makes sharp corners only. No one curves a lot here. The symmetric node is next. True to its name, it has two opposing handles. Move one and the other mimics its movement. Then we have the asymmetric node. Its handles also oppose each other, but they like their independence and can be moved individually. Last but not least, the disconnected node. Notice how sharp the edge becomes with this one. When you move its handles, they move independently, even their angles. This node is a master at creating sharp edges. Now that you met all the node types, let me share a neat trick. Double click on a node and it magically transforms into an angular node. Double click again and it reverts back. Plus you can use this double click action to close paths. Lastly, let's explore how to manually add and delete nodes. Click on the pad and a fresh node pops up. If you want to remove nodes, just select one or more by holding down the shift key and press delete. In some situations, you could also use the Add or Delete buttons under the Style tab to alter nodes. This can be a clear way to simplify an object by removing nodes or add more detail by introducing new ones. But for now, let's stick to adjusting our nodes manually. So let's just undo and give those edges some finesse to make them look even more polished. Alright, let's move on to the next step where I will show you how to use the scissor tool. Our goal now is to add some nice details and give the erase area more depth. We can achieve this by incorporating some arcs around the shape. One cool way to do this is by cutting out pieces from a circle, which we'll create using the shape tool. By the way, if you haven't checked our previous episode, I recommend taking a look to learn more about the shape tool. Alright, now that I've finished drawing my circle, I'll grab the trust the scissor tool, clicking on this icon or pressing S on your keyboard and easily add two nodes wherever I want with a simple click. And just like that, our little arc is separated from the circle. Let's make a few copies of this and then adjust them using the node tool. After tweaking the nodes to achieve the desired look, our design is complete. Different social media platforms require different image sizes, but don't fret, here's a quick way to solve this. 
Head to the Layers panel and click the plus button. From there, select Artboard. Then pick Social Media from the drop-down menu. Now you have a list of size options to pick from. Want to personalize it? It's easy. Just double-click to rename it. You also have the option to change its coordinate, measurements, or fill color. If you want, you can even add a grid. Now that we got that down, let's create a few more and adjust our design to fit. And the fun part. Let's take a look how this will look on the screen. Here I've put together some mockups for you. And with that, we wrapped up this episode. In our next session, we'll go through our diverse set of drawing tools. Stay tuned for more. Bye.